morning everyone my name is bandari teja from department of pc and i will be dealing microprocessor and microcontroller subject so before starting about this i would like to introduce about what is microprocessor what is microcontroller so before discussing about what is microprocessor and microcontroller let me start with some examples so i'll take general purpose computer for discussing microprocessor so what we can do with general computer we can with help of internet we can surf we can watch video we can watch uh, uh, we can play games we can do many things right so generally we we'll use computer for our general purposes like video playing audio so so many things so it covers all general purposes so whenever we talk about all the general purpose thing so it means that processing multiple things at a time so processing is nothing but processor computing with help of program so general purpose computer becomes example of processor what about controller so controller is also similar to the processor both are like uh, two sides we fall in but there is much difference between microprocessor and microcontroller so i can say we have embedded system which are like improved version of microcontroller or called embedded systems so microcontroller are the devices which are used to do a specific task same way in embedded system is nothing but combination of software software to do a specific task so i can say the overcome of microcontroller is nothing but embedded system so let us discuss the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller so i can say that for a computer this is heart what is heart means microprocessor becomes a heart of a basic computer system because i am taking as computer as example of general purpose so what is the heart of computer system i can call it as microprocessor in microprocessor the memory will be always outside of the processor processor will be different memory will be different so if i want to talk about processor i need to segregate so many things for example for any application to be done or any application to be uh, used for any task we need to segregate so many things for example i have taken some memory section i have a microprocessor which is heart of all the computer system for suppose it is a computer system microprocessor is uh hard and then we have memory that memory is being divided into ram memory which is per net which is and our rom memory which is temporary and timer and as well as io ports but in order to do an application which is example of microprocessor we need to segregate all the things which has to be bring from outside so we need to bring from outside and we need to connect and we need to do the programming we should dump it in microprocessor to do a specific task it means that i need to buy several things to do a proper application so these are brought from different different vendors to do a specific task and by doing all this what will happen there is lot of power consumption needed there is five volts power supply that is needed for microprocessor and again if i need to get some physical timer which means i can touch the timer so that timer will be some expensive and io ports i need to uh, get the io ports from outer uh, outer and then i need to connect with microprocessor and also i can use some serial phase i need to buy memory components i need to interface all these things to form a microprocessor for certain application so by this all this we need to segregate so that cabinet size will be more it is not portable and it is not efficient for power consumption also so there will be larger amount of power consumption and also uh, cabinet size is more it is since the size is very more it is not portable from one place to another place so i can give the example of our general purpose computer where at least we require this much of size for monitor for cpu for keyboard for input and output devices this is all about microprocessor and i would like to discuss about microcontroller now so in the case of microcontroller it is of compact size which means i can say size of my palm it means that all the components like memory microprocessor ram rom a timer so a ports and serial interface all are available on a single chip all are fabricated at the time of fabrication itself so that their size will be very compact which is of my palm size so that it is portable from one place to another place and also power consumption is very less which will work for just 5 volts where we can portable from one place to another place so i can give example of your mobile phone oven washing machine generally those microcontrollers are used for only a specific task all appliances which we are using or uh, in today's world will become the examples of microcontrollers here i can say it is a heart of embedded system since i told you the embedded system is nothing but it is the overcoming of microcontroller embedded system is combination of hardware software to do a specific task in the same way microcontroller is also used to perform a specific task so since it is very small and compact so power consumption is very less that is 5 volts 
and so it is in compact in size so hence it is portable and it can be performed with some standard batteries so there is no need of a wireless charger wide charger we can just charge it and we can take it from one place to another place i can give examples of mp3 player oven washing machine and so on so all the applications involves microcontroller as we can call it as embedded system this is all about microprocessor and microcontroller thank you